My next honoree is Angelica Morris. Let's give her a round of applause. She serves as a de executive director of the Schenectady County Human Rights Commission. She is the youngest person and the first African-American woman to oversee a county agency in Schenectady County's history. Let's give her a round of applause for that. And the importance of her work simply cannot be overstated. She is taking a stand on human rights violations everywhere. Uh, she is so active in her community, and if you've seen her Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. She is just about everywhere, and uh, she represents this agency so well. She fights for so many. She's on several leadership boards and committees. She uh, is an advocate for those that are disabled, for kids like my son Michael and their rights. She also serves with, the, with this Connectedy YMCA on their board of directors, the Black Women's Association of Albany, and the Capital Region Capital Region's African American Cultural Center. She's a tireless advocate, and she has taken uh, the Human Rights Commission to new levels. Uh, her, the presence is well known. It's such an important mission. Let's welcome her up to the to the stage. So welcome, welcome, Angie. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for you and your staff for doing all that you're doing here in Schenectady County and also down at the state capitol, fighting on behalf of everybody's rights, making sure everybody's rights are protected and respected. So thank you for your thank work you. and championship on human rights, civil rights, and social justice. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, my first question for you was going to be, how do you find the time? <laughs> how do you find the time? You are so active in our community. Uh, you are, you are uh, certainly representing the Human Rights Commission. Uh, a number of events that are, yeah. I've never seen, uh, so, some of these events are so well attended that sometimes there's not enough seats to really get anybody in. That is very You've true. Actively engaged people uh, to help them understand why it's so important, right. uh, why this commit, the work of your commission is so important. Mm -hmm. uh, so how, how uh, what inspires you to do all the things you do in our community? Well, what inspires me um, to do what I'm doing here in the Schenectady County and just for people is basically I, um, I have a strong faith in God. And the one thing before I do every morning is I pray and I ask for guidance um, and also a strategic plan um, divinely regarding community and people. Uh, what I've learned in life was my mother and coming from a strong Christian home, one thing that we were taught is we put God first in community. And so that's one thing that I believe in. I don't wear religion on my sleeve, I just do what I do. And doing this position, working in this position, I never thought I would be in this position. I went to um, college, political science, and worked down to the legislature, um, formed those relationships, and then uh, uh, came to work for Mayor, former Mayor Stratton in um, 2004, and then worked with the governor's office, and never knew that I would be in this position that I am now, leading an agency, a county agency, where it's all about people and making sure everybody's rights are being protected and respected. And so what makes me inspired is making people feel happy, valuable, and appreciated. Um, I have to say one thing, he's in the room. Um, I give all gratitude and thanks to my predecessor, former executive director Brian Wright, who was here today. Um, we worked very, very close and well when I, he was executive director for 17 years and I was the board chair but also commissioner. And one thing that we did as executive director and also the chair of the commission is we made sure that we put people first. And what thing that he, his motto was is to help people help themselves. And so that is what I do every day is to help people help themselves and make sure that their interests and their rights are being protected, but also making them feel value. And we are in the 50th anniversary of Dr. King. And Dr. King talked about that beloved community of making sure that beloved community is taken care of in the spirit of love. And so that's what I want to do, and that's what I've been doing all along, is that spirit of love, showing that, giving that, and demonstrating that to the beloved community, and that's here in Schenectady County. And uh, the, the other, the other, uh the other part of what you're doing is you have you have a connection with so many other so many other organizations yes. uh, in the community. So the Mount Olivet Baptist Church, mm -hmm. uh, Sikkim, a number mm -hmm. of other groups 
are part of what you're doing. They have right. embraced what you're doing and are actually helping serve the mission. Mm -hmm. How important is that to get our community involved, uh, where it's not just your agency, it's really spread out where everybody's involved mm -hmm. with the Human Rights Commission? Right. And so human rights are everybody, right? Um, getting people together, partnering, collaborating, and doing things in the spirit of unity brings the community stronger and closer, but not only stronger and closer, but speaking truth to power. Bringing agencies, youth organizations, elected officials like yourself, and other partnerships together, talking about the issues that impacts us on a regular basis, and not being blind eye to the issues, when we know that there's issues that is happening and people's lives are at stake, and we know that that's, that's real, we as a community has to band together, and that's what we've been demonstrating for the last 53 years the commission has been existing, and I've been doing in the last six years of bringing people together, talking about those issues that we're all being affected on. We are talking about the issues of poverty, we're talking about the issues of unemployment within the black community and the communities of colors. We're talking about those issues of graduation rates within our school districts, which is, appa which, which, which is appalling, where our kids are going to school but they don't have any books to read, where our kids are going to school and they can't even read or write. These are human right issues that we must stand up, speak up, and talk about and make sure that these rights are being protected, respected, and there's a, a constructive resolution to the problem. And so that's why we're demonstrating that on all levels here in Schenectady and working with you, talking about those issues. And also, uh, you've been an advocate for the disabled. Absolutely. Uh, you have also, uh, that's part of your mission. Yep. I want to thank you for that as well, for including that as well. Uh, one of the things that also I've noticed that you don't let boundaries, it's not, mm. although it's the Schenectady County Human Rights Commission, I know you helped Albany form their Human Rights Commission. They didn't have one, but you helped them, inspired them to create their own commission as well. So you don't, you're, you're, you're not just, you're concerned with Schenectady County, but you're concerned with the entire region really, and be even maybe beyond that. Right, and so um, Albany's Human Rights Commission has been taking, um, they have been doing that on the city level, um, and when Brian was executive director, um, he was helping them. In 2017, I actually, um, Mayor at the time, former Mayor Joanne Yepsen reached out to me um, and asked me to help her um, build um, a human rights coalition task force as a mayor's uh, initiative because of the immigration issues that was going on um, during that time. And so at this time, from 2017 till now, that group is taking their own initiative. Uh, I helped form that, and they're addressing the issues of immigration and other issues that in Saratoga Springs. As I say, as I go around on Schenectady and Albany County, we must tear down the invisible barriers that the region has developed as a mindset and that barriers are in the mind regarding Albany not coming to Schenectady and Schenectady not going to Troy and Troy not coming to Schenectady and tearing down those invisible barriers regarding I-90 and 787. We all have the same issues, different people in, this, in different cities, but we're all fighting the same battles and the same issues. And once we come together and tear down the invisible barriers, we have done that here in Schenectady. As you see, our events went from 100 people at a, a wards breakfast to 400, that, yes. 42 <laughs> nominees with 65 students from four school districts, seven in the morning. And that's, that's because of the community has tear down those barriers and says, these are human rights issues. Human rights are on the forefront right now as we see in this nation. Human rights are being assaulted from federal government and now people are standing up and saying enough is enough. We're gonna talk about these human rights issues and we're gonna do what we need to do to demonstrate that in the community. And the youth are taking a stand. Whenever you see youth take a stand in, in, in USA, there's major movements, and we've seen that in the 1960s when the youth stood up and Dr. King was young, and he was part of the Civil Rights Movement. And if it wasn't for Dr. King, we wouldn't be here today in his 50th anniversary memorializing him and commemorating him on his legacy in life regarding civil rights, human rights, and social justice. She's doing an amazing job, and I'm excited to see what you're going to you. accomplish next. Let's give her a big round of applause. Thank I'm you. so very pleased to honor you as Thank one of you, our sir. 2018 Women of Distinction honorees. Thank you so much.